Good evening, people. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to look at the house of Calvin Klein, one of the big uh, name in US. And uh, they have, I think, one of the most number of fragrances released since they started the journey. So it's going to be the house of Calvin Klein and the fragrance would be CK2. So this one, I will tell you everything you need to know as the initial impression, the presentation, price, mail, who is it for, everything or stuff like that. All right. And the thing is, before anything else, let me update you on two other fragrances because I'll be updating in every review about this Rasazi, the newer and the newer other fragrances. I'm wearing Enteba right after the shower. I went with six sprays with this at the night time. This one I said it has that feel of one million Pakoraban on the top opening like a like tutti frutti kind of a thing. I think this is more like a sparkling, like a I won't say like a champagne because this doesn't smell like alcohol at all but it's more like a fruity sparkling juice it could be a melange of fruits so very pleasant and beautiful opening i i hate silver mountain water but i love anteba i'm loving this more every day it's growing on me i already like it by the way but it's growing more on me and the thing is one little caution those who are interested in layu kawam you can ask for the decant from me but that's okay but even if you take a decant or you buy the full bottle anyway don't put more than one or half spray in Bangladesh condition in the summers. Why? I put two sprays of this full spray on my neck, these two sides, and I almost choked to death. This is that potent. It goes on forever, eight, nine, ten hours. It just grows stronger and stronger. So for a performer, this is, this is performer, but the fragrance itself, you have to know how to use it and when to use it. And by the way, that is a Tuscan leather copy of Tom Ford, okay? And one other little update before I start the review. I have two little samples that I got as a gift from my big brother. This is one. Uh, these houses, I don't think they're known. I think they're from um, Turkey. So these are, this is, <laughs> the names are all same. DNP, Perfume, Perfume. Doesn't say anything much, the name. This is a copy of Tobacco, not Tobacco Vani. This is Black Orchid Tom Ford. And this is even more beast mode than the Layu Kaon. This one almost killed me too. <laughs> And the smell wise unbelievable i'll review this soon both and this one it's a dior jador copy and this is as potent or if not more potent than the dior itself these are fantastic i am still testing them i'll update you on those in a separate video so let's get into the talk for ck2 let me show you the presentation this is a full 100 ml edt and it's a beautifully conceptually it's a beautiful fragrance so the box sidewise like this no need to describe it's a very beautiful bottle and packaging okay bottom your stickers and batch code you'll find the batch code somewhere i don't know where you'll find somewhere there <laughs> it's there i think it's um dum 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 okay never mind the batch code is somewhere there i don't want to bother because this is legit so it's calvin klein all right uh this is made in usa i think no this is made in france okay it's the house of america but made in france under Coty. Okay. So the bottle here is the reason I got this for. That is, I'll be honest. This one is the one of the most prettiest bottles in my collection. I'll do in a separate video where I'm gonna show you my, my most favorite bottle designs in my collection. This one is made to look like a water dispenser, as Steven says, and I do agree. It has a beautiful concept. It looks like watery, see-through, beautiful. Alright? It has a holder, it says Kelvin Klein here. It says CK2, and this is the second episode of CK1, the very popular CK1. So there was CKB, and there's also many other CK flankers, but this is this is actually the second episode, right? And it's made for unisex, both genders and millennials, like sort of like a younger generation. All right, so you take it off. It looks like a capsule, very cool, <laughs> very nice. Uh, it looks like a medical supply sort of a bottle, you, you know, this little water bottles, cute ones they give you. We just take yeah that sort of bottle smells really nice and it sits both ways for many people they don't know this it sits this way as well but don't try to pick it up from there okay i i know this is not fit but i would rather pick up the whole bottle then hold it then open it all right so for the presentation is just mind-blowing it's really really nice and the sprayer really works well check this out okay it shoots out a lot of juice so it's very smooth so the thing is for the presentation let's take out the presentation presentation 10 out of 10 i love this presentation just one little story before i start about the fragrance itself i was in malaysia and when it came out in last year summer 2016 i think yeah 
I went to the shop because most of the time Malaysian malls they have all the latest releases. So this fragrance when it came out, I was very interested because the bottle looks like, look at this bottle. Don't you want this in your collection? Of course you do. The thing is, I was just hoping this perfume, this fragrance rather, gives me something at least even half, some of the halfway, five or six out of ten, I would take it. So I, I was trying a lot of strong fragrances that day and I bought, I think, something, I don't remember what I bought, I think Bulgari Aku Amar or something like that. The thing is, after smelling a lot of other fragrances, I didn't, I didn't smell anything. It literally smelled like nothing on the paper. And my hands were full, so I tried so many fragrances both hands, I couldn't detect anything. So I decided not to give it a go. It was painful because uh, in Malaysia, you have to pay retail prices for any fragrance, and especially the newer ones, you're never going to get discounted. So it was pretty much like 350 or something like that ringgit, very close to $80. So that time, I skipped it. So I came back to Bangladesh, but the bottle was always in my mind. So I was watching reviews after reviews, seeing what people are talking about. Some people, I think Brandon, um, Triple Ink, he really likes it. He, he talked about it, but most of the people, they didn't favor this. Most of the review didn't favor this because this has longevity issues. And I'll tell you one thing, it does. It has serious, not serious, but it has longevity problems. Just like any other CK, watery, transparent, summer sense, all right? So this is mostly for a summer and uh, built for all ages, all, no barriers for this. No sexes, uh, anyone, any gender can wear it, any age can wear it. Even if you're a teenager, all the way to your grandpa can wear this for summer casual usage. So the thing is, another thing this is famous for is the pebble note. So what is the pebble note? So it's like, you have to actually imagine there's nothing called pebble notes because when you see pebbles and you smell them, they have no smell. Then there's a water note in this, watery note. So watery notes, it, it depends. Water has no smell to it. But when you smell oceanic water, salt water, like Bulgaria Kuala, like, then you can say, yes, I smell salty water, salty breezy uh, vibe from a fragrance, but this one is watery and pebble. So those are the two notes this fragrance is famous for, and it's, it's pretty transparent, you see? It's supposed to be water dispenser themed, and this is supposed to be a transparent fragrance, which is exactly what it is, but there's more to it. So let me tell you the weak point of this fragrance so far. Um, the weak point is the performance of it. It's not, even if you put like a lot of it, you're not gonna get like a beast mode or even decent performance you're gonna get like a 5.5 out of 10 that's our performance and it's somewhere in the middle of the road okay and the thing is this is um, not a spectacular or a great fragrance this is somewhere in your b great fragrance this is how i see it it's just my opinion personal opinion but i think this fragrance is sort of like underrated so let me tell you about the good things this now is very highly discounted and you can get it for a good price okay it's not going to be super priced like super cheap like ten dollars i don't think so not yet but for the hundred ml of this there's smaller bottles also like 50 or 30 i'm not sure get the bigger one you know bigger one serves better and longer now it's a little bit cheaper so you can get this and the thing is this one smells like few other fragrances but it has some little twists so the pebble note i don't get it but the watery feel i get it when i look at the bottle it gives me that transparent water light and the summer casual day by the swimming pool if you're chilling you're having barbecues swimming a lot coming out of the water it smells like that beautiful blue skies bright sunshine you can see the ray of the sun is going through the water this is this is just like it so when i smell it <clears throat> there is some interesting note to it okay so the thing is i detect there is a rose note that is enlisted i didn't look at all the note breakdown but as far as i remember there was rose and sandalwood in, enlisted in this so i get a combination of that from CK1, that white florals, a little bit visible in this, but mostly the rose is very prominent in this, to my nose. So everybody's nose is different, right? I get that beautiful rose note upon the first spray because is there any spot I'm free? I think I wear Entheba everywhere. <laughs> okay, here is a little bit of space left, all right? Let's go a little bit. I'll tell you the top notes, because if you don't, okay, you get a little bit of blast of alcohol right up top. That is not a good start, but the thing is now it's cheap, so we cannot complain. So you get a bit of blast off, like five seconds of alcohol blast. Let it wear off, let it dry down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, now you can smell it. So it smells like very fresh young rose. And imagine that young rose has some dew on it or some rainfall last from last night. And it, it has some watery rosy effect. And it's not very strong rose like a Club de Nuit Intense for Women. Dark, Tom Ford, Noir de Noir, that sort of rose. Nope. No powderiness, nothing. 
it's built for transparency. So the thing is, is there any yucky notes like coconut, which I really hate? No. So for summer scent, that's a good start. So I think I get the citrus, I get the white florals and the rose on the opening. And then <clears throat> that watery notes, you know, very light. And if you put your nose to it, without trying so many other fragrances, you're gonna detect that rose note and the water aquatic, little bit citrusy opening. Very nice, very nice opening. The smell wise, I love the smell of this. So that is the good point. Second good point, price, smell, really nice. So thing is, as it develops on the skin, you're gonna get longevity three hours in Bangladesh. Let me tell you, you spray two times, you spray 15 times, you're gonna get three hours from this every time, that's it. And it projects kinda low. So longevity and uh, projection kind of on the low side but if you're working in the office you don't want to offend anyone you just want to get smell like safe you want to smell transparent but not a guy that smells of odor body odor this is the kind of fragrance will work for you i think ladies will love this and ladies will love to smell this on a guy this one smells like yes it's a bit young a bit playful but not very sweet or uh, you know it's it's not like children's fragrance okay it's not a kid stuff it's not a for immature kids okay it smells like sophistication so very non-complicated opening very simple see-through nothing mind-blowing and it reminds me of another fragrance which no one i think mentioned yet but i get a little bit of declaration du soir by cartier this is a whole different level of fragrance this is a masterpiece for me all right this is a rose and sandalwood at its best and that one it's just one of my favorite fragrance i hardly i gingerly use this so it has a feel of that lighter version of Declaration Dun Soir. Even the bottles look like, kind of like transparent see-through. But Declaration Dun Soir, for me, A class. This is in the middle, mediocre, B class, not C, B. Um, who would like this? Anyone would like this. And the dry down goes a little bit uh, boring to my nose. It goes a little bit of, uh, oh, nothing special. It's okay, okay, it smells good, safe, um, not as nice as Versace Puram. These are fantastic, fantastic scents. This is okay. So thing is, who would like this? People who want to wear something different, those who want to have a beautiful bottle in the collection, like this is a masterpiece. Even if you don't use it, just nice to look at in your collection. So if you're a crazy collector like me, I got this for the bottle, and now I'm, I told you, if it was halfway, I'd be okay with it. If this was like two out of 10, I wouldn't buy it. So this is like, overall remark, I'll give this like a 5.5 .5 to six. That sort of mark, so for me, it works. I'll wear this casually indoors uh, if I don't have to go to the br like super uh, like let's say you're going from point A to point B you're going to work right and the thing is by the time you go th reach to, to the work it will disappear because the air it will <laughs> destroy your fragrance so you need to carry an atomizer refresh yourself in the middle of the day so if you carry this in your under your shelf in your drawer take it out and pss, pss, before you notice no one's gonna be complaining they're gonna like the smell all right you'll smell very sort of like a guy who stays you know understated don't speak so much pleasant playing it safe uh, doesn't want to get into debate with anyone <laughs> just talking away like imagination so for the pool summer day and i think if you go into the heat it will project nicely nicer but then there's the sandalwood somewhere at the back very very um faintly which is a good thing because i am not very big fan of declaration to swear the sandalwood note in the summer that is meant for summer but the sandalwood comes out sometimes pff, the woody too much sandalwood this is less so it's already changing the rose note is coming up nicely imagine the rose young rose with two green leaves attached to the stem that is the rose note of this the watery rose sandalwood and the base a little bit of vetiver green side and i think the uh, the sandalwood it's it stays so basically that's your scent for this uh, on this ck2 so longevity and perf uh, projection 5 5.5 5 out of 10 okay uh, smell of it very high. I love the smell of this. This is one of the easier wear dumb reach and Safe bed for summer and it's understated because people just ignore this for the Performance issue. Yes, I understand when you pay your buck. It's only fair you ask for a performer There's much better performer, but I think at the, this price point right now is $30 $25. You cannot go wrong um, This is nice for your collection purpose it looks nice. It makes you feel good, but absolutely not a must-buy but you can look into this if you're tired of Savage talk, uh, paying premium for a lot of these other <laughs> fragrances that is getting so much hype. Try something different. This is for someone who like to try something different. Underrated juice, all right? So overall remark for this, I'll give this seven out of 10. I'll keep it real, I'll keep it honest. 
because none of these companies are paying me and I don't want them to pay me. I want to give fair judgment to each fragrance from my own nose and I'll tell you only my opinion. It might work 10 out of 10 for you. Some people who treasured this, maybe any fragrance, 10 out of 10 and well, I'll get like two versus such as Dylan Blue. I get zero for that. I'll give it zero. Initial impression I tried seven times, never impressed me. Aqua Atlantic, it, boom, wow. <laughs> so yes, it, it varies. So no disrespect, no hard feelings. It's just my opinion and my initial impression, seven out of 10, all right? CK2, look into this. Give it a try on your skin. May it work for you or your girlfriend. Take care, guys. Have a good evening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.